Chuan. I am a co-founder of the Peak Performance HQ. I am a motivational speaker, a published author, and a navigational coach. And today is um, in the absence of my co-author Donna Black. I'm scope in um, in her place, so uh, you will hear from her tomorrow. And good evening, Miriam. Thank you very much for for joining us. Um, I do appreciate uh, your support and um, uh, Lily, uh, thank you very much and um, Kelly and uh, I cannot tell you how much I appreciate you. And today I want to, um, the topic of my scoping uh, today is uh, you matter, be well and be happy. Um, so the, the reason for that is, um, hi Ashley, thank you very much for joining. Now, um, we're talking about the building the relationship with others, building the relationship with ourselves. But one thing that I want to talk about today is that you are matter. And your well-being and your happiness is matter. So now, what do you do uh, in order for you to ensure that you are well and you are happy? You know, a lot of people, they, um, they go through life, they want to please everybody. Um, and then especially a lot of, um, let, let me give you the example of my clients. Um, he came to me a few weeks ago and he talked to me about a lot of something, uh, a lot of things about his family, his anguish, his resentment. So, and then he is um, very purposeful and he on the way to success you know, to, to to get to where he needed to. I mean, I believe in him and I know that he will be successful. But the thing of the matter is he cannot be uh, success because he the, the resentment is heavily on his back and just like when he go want to get into the door go to the um, to be a successful uh, in the, the success um, the success place he have to leave all the baggage behind so what I suggested to him that he need to to write down and I expecting for him to write more than 100 items on the, the paper and all of the things that he resent about, something that um, he's um, he not very happy, something he angry, uh, in another word, that everything that is including the chicken, uh, the um, kitchen sink. Because it is very, very important because he, in order for you to go places, you have to clear your mental desk. And right now, he has so much on his mental desk and he cannot move any place. So by writing down, Hi, hi, Gina. Thank you very much for joining. By writing down all of the things that bothering him, I want him to agree, exam that list, and then he will go through it and to deal with it. And for the, <clears throat> he will have two columns. And one column that he will write all everything that bothers him, something that he resents, something he's angry about, something he's happy about, something that uh, unsolved um, matter, whatever the situation was. I want him to write down. Because see, when he write down everything and he take time to look at it, and just like you and I, when we take time to, we have some time to really um, you know, step back and we come back and to look at our list. And then I want you for him to look into the item, just like um, if he and his father have some argument and something going on. So I want him to ask him a question that is something that I can resolve or something that under my control. And if not, he need to bless it and let it go away. Let's say if his father's still alive, he need to go to see him or he need to uh, make the phone call to him because he need to talk him about. But see, and then if that, he need to make the decisions. And then if his father, um, in this case, his father passed away and you know, that uh, to see him, to talk to him is not an option. So, and I suggested for him to write a letter to his father, whether he burn it or he can send it to me. And I have a file that I can have everything that, uh, you know, store for him. But then something, you know, that is a misunderstand between uh, him and his sister. So it's something that he can talk about, he need to resolve it. And if he cannot resolve it, and then if he have to make in the decision, I'm go see him, I uh, see her, I will talk to her, or I let go. Because you just cannot, 
you know, you, you just cannot have everything in your mind and everything to be something that bothering you uh, for the rest of your life. Because see, when you go into, uh, even you uh, climb up to the top, you just have to lighten your load. And then, you know, when you walk into the door, you have to really put, left, you know, leave the packet, the, the baggage uh, behind because you cannot continue to, to go to the top with that load or you cannot go through that door because the baggage is um, preventing you from going through it. So that is uh, for me to help him to, to really, because see, I will not stop him. I just say, oh, that is too little. Why are you bothered by a thing like that? No, I want you to him to write down everything and then he can revisit that list and then he have to making the decision. He need to clear up his mental desk because that was something holding him back. You know, and when people always, and that, that is very, very significant um, uh, for him to do that. And, you know, take him a little bit longer than I expect. I think take him two weeks. And then he come back, and then he have just a list of just only a few items. That needs less to say, I'm very, very proud of him. Because see, you just, you have to, facing it, you have the confrontation to all of the, the people that who you resent with or who you misunderstanding. And then, you know, let me tell you one thing is so very funny that he and his friend, as somebody, he resenting the guy so much, his college friend. And then he said the guy have, you know, uh, undermined him or say something to him disrespectful respectful for him. And then he never forgive that friend. He had not talked to that guy for 20 some years. And then now when they have London, they're talking about what, you know, that's a, just a misunderstood. And his friend thought that they do not don't understand why his friend just dropped him. And you know, and uh, that is, you know, they ruining the relationship. Uh, um, of the two good friends for 20 some years. They, they, they don't have the connection. And that's a valuable lesson for us to learn. You know, and again, I, I will say this to you, that if you, um, and I say that to me too, when you have something that you're dealing with and you said to yourself that, okay, you're asking yourself, is what is the, the bottom line? What is the case scenario? Is that something you can handle? Man up, go dealing with it, take care of it because you just cannot have that on your shoulder. Because see, that would become, and then you you know, and the thing is, sometimes that we want to have that because we want to have in our pocket because we have to have something to blame for. That's what I'm asking him. Do you want to have that issue to take in care with your mom and dad and your sister? Or you just want to have that in your pocket because at one time, you know, just like you didn't make it or you don't make it, you will say, you know, because of this and because of that. No, no, that, that, not, that have nothing to do with other people. That is a lot of things to do with you. You have to ignite your own fire, and the only, the, um, the only fire that you can cultivate that within you, you cannot waiting or you can expecting the exter external fire to warm you up or to inspire you because everything is an inside job. So that is, um, so now that is a part of mental health. And I will tell you, just to get this list done to clear your mental death, um, you know, it, that will be, uh, that will take out of the, your anxiety or your anguish or uh, whatever that is, because resentment or regret, uh, this is something that killing you slowly. So deal with it, and something you can deal with it, you can take care of, taking care of it. If not, you let it go because it 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 um uh, it is very very important and then you know and then the anxiety you know when when you want to do something and you just say oh i, I just uh, I, I you know they, when you have anxiety you create the worst case scenario and you think that it's just like you know the, the the sky is falling you know you are just like you minimize yourself into a chicken little and then get the apple fall in your head and you said the sky is falling hey Essen, thank you very much for for coming and then you know the the the, the truth of the matter you asking yourself 
you know, I mean, I, I almost suggested that you have a notebook and you catalog it. Every time that you anxiety or something or you predict something worst case scenario, something happened, write it down. And then, you know, and then later on you will look into it. Is that whatever you worry about, whatever you concern about, your anxiety about, is thing, that thing happen? You know, I will guarantee you, nine times out of ten, there's nothing happen. But see, you have to do it for yourself, and you have the record in front of you. And that is something that you, you know, you have the answer for you, because something that you create all the anxiety, um, you know, I, I don't say that for nothing, but for you to know that, nine times out of ten that is never happened and just because of that you might want to put that and think about that with a different perspective you know because uh, anxiety uh, fear uh, everybody have it but again how you control it how we are control our anxiety our anguish our uh, whatever that is because you know after all this is the mindset that's the inside job. You just cannot point a finger to, to, to somebody and to blame on somebody. And you know something, because when you blame on somebody, that means you give your power away. That's something you could do something, you can change the result, you can make the difference. But because you point the finger at somebody else, that means you pushing that thing to them and you're no longer in control. Therefore, you cannot make the difference. You know, I I don't say that I am good at that, but I truly am very good at it. Because when I left Vietnam, I came here, I don't have anybody, just my husband and I, and I would show him, and whatever that is, the buck stop here. And just because the buck stop here, and I always find the solution to deal with, rather than to, you know, go to my father or go to somebody, appoint somebody, because I don't have anybody. And so that become a part of me that um, I'm very confront uh, I'm very confrontational because it, I'm stand up uh, you know whatever the situation is I step I will step up I will deal with it you know one way or another I will get the result not that because I um, I I am a a brave soldier or anything but because you cannot I, I don't know how to live otherwise if something bothering me I were talking about that something that is not um, uh, you know I, I, I will I will man up <laughs> uh, you know to whatever that if, if I do something wrong I will apologize but if I don't I certainly will um, will find the solutions. So see, that that is a part of the mental anguish, you know, sometimes that because, you know, with all the things on your mind and you couldn't sleep, you couldn't eat, or um, you cannot function, and that's not good. And then, you know, if you're just taking care of that, trust me and try it, you know, just, um, <laughs> you are brave, thank you. And, and just uh, trust me, you know, write a list and you just say, you know, you don't just say, oh, you write six or seven and you say that enough make a goal and said that I I will massage it. I will get it out. I will get 101 items on the list. And then when you get the 101 items, get what? First you have the big items, you know, something is so significant. And then, you know, and then later on something not too significant and get smaller and smaller. But regardless, if you get the list of 101 items that you have everything all out, that means you have everything out of your mental desk. And then now you start to really take a look at it and to and to evaluate it and to make the decision on it. And then you have to really f confront it, you have to facing it, and you need to make the decision, what do you go from here? 